All right, so when I looked up Voron 3D printer kits on Google, um, the LDO Voron kit, of course, came up because I think it's a really popular one. I've heard really good things about it. So I think this is a very high quality kit that looks like really nice there. And for the, they're out of stock of the 350 millimeter version, which I really wanted. So they've got a sale on the 300 millimeter version with two left in stock. And uh, it's $1,300 for the base kit, which was a little bit outside of my price range right now. Although if I could afford it, this is a really nice kit. I've heard great things about it. I've seen some reviews of it. Um, but also 3D Printers Bay has a similar kit. So they got the Voron 2.4 R2 Pro Plus Core XY 3D printer kit. So I actually already bought this. I'm recording this about 10 days after I ordered it. And they uh, they never sent me like an app proper like shipping email or notification or anything. So I didn't even think it had shipped yet, but I got home from work today and it was sitting on my porch. Let's go ahead and unbox it. got some acrylic sheets it looks like some sandpaper nice yeah this is just like a tray of wow this is like really heavy actually like acrylic thick acrylic plates so these ones look like they're clear. This one has some holes and stuff laser cut into it. And this is black acrylic. So it looks like they did give you different acrylic colors for different parts of the machine. That's pretty cool. I'm already pretty impressed with the, like these are pretty thick. I don't know, they're definitely thicker than they probably uh, need to be. I feel like that, that's pretty good. Okay, we just got a ton of electronics and parts and hardware. This is exciting. So I got the 350 millimeter version of the Voron. Looks like we got a heater cartridge, a little bit of extra belt material, strain relief for a cable different brushes and magnets and hardware and stuff. Pretty cool. Some belts. A linear rail that has past QC, so that's pretty good. And it looks like in this pocket here, there's just all of the linear rails. So there you go, that's pretty awesome. And they are the Vive Dyno. That's pretty fun. So we got, let's see here, six, seven. Looks like we got seven of those. Wow, that's like a coral sponge thing. I don't, I have no clue what that's for. That's like a sponge. Maybe for, maybe it's a carbon filter. I think it might be a carbon filter. Okay, cool. We got like a long wire thing. I'm interested to see what this is for. This has like a little board in it. I wonder if that's um, <clears throat> some sort of electronics that go in the printhead. It looks like it's too small to be the main board. So maybe it's from uh, Big Tree Tech because it has the rubber ducky. All right, we've got a ton of sticky foam stuff. Maybe for sound dampening or cushioning for the acrylic panels or something, but a bunch of sticky foam stuff. And it looks like we got some uh, big roll of double stick tape here. Maybe it's captain tape. Looks like it might be double stick tape. Got a nice uh, PTFE tube. So I did order this kit with the option for the box turtle AMS system. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna be in this box or a separate sh shipment, but um, that's gonna be fun when we build the box turtle system. It's like an open source AMS, it's pretty cool. So here we got all of like the wires and stuff. So this is like stepper motor wires, limit switches, maybe some power cables in there too. So all the wires nice and neatly in this package here. 
Ooh, I love this. I never have enough micro SD cards. I love that they include this. All right, so here is the three and six out PCB board for AC circuits. So this is a PCB with a big plastic cover, I guess, for the AC power or something. Okay, now it says injection plastic housing for air filter. So there is the housing for the air filter. I didn't even know this had an air filter. That's super cool. That's why I was confused. I thought that thing was a sponge earlier. I, I don't know anything about the Voron. I'm super excited to learn about all of this. I built a few 3D printers before and I've built a lot of 3D printer kits like the ANA A8 and the Creality ones and I've modded them a lot, but I've never done something this involved. It's pretty exciting. Got another rubber ducky and it is from Big Tree Tech. So this is, this must be the main board. So, um, I am a fan of Big Tree Tech products. I used one of their boards for my laser cutter, uh, the SKR3, and I love that. I was not expecting this to include genuine uh, Big Tree Tech parts. A lot of times, I kind of go for knockoffs, but this is amazing. And then we got another Big Tree Tech box, so lots of good stuff here. All right, I recognize these packages. These look like stepper drivers, so we got six of them so far, six stepper drivers. I'm curious what kind they are, but uh, I'm sure they're High quality Trinamic ones. All right, we got a bunch of zip ties. I love that. I have 10 million zip ties. I don't know if I have any that are this tiny, uh, but this is the perfect size for what we need. So that's amazing thing for all this stuff. And we got a bunch of really good sized fans. Like, I guess this is part of the filtration system maybe? Um, I don't know. These are really beefy fans, that's amazing. And we got more fans. These are like the 5015 size, 24 volt. Um, and there looks like there's three of them in these two bags. All right, so we got some, some sort of insulated wrap for a tube or something. I have genuinely no clue what this is for. I've never seen something like this on a 3D printer. It feels squishy and like, I don't know, we'll find out. So we've got our plug with a switch and it feels very, I'm just, I don't want to sound like a broken record. I'm just impressed with the quality of these parts. I expected it to be kind of the cheapest stuff thrown into a box, but this is just feels quality. It's metal and uh, I've just, I've seen many cheaper switches in my day. So I, I feel good about that. And what on earth is this? This is like some sort of custom looking part with a spring in it. It's steel. I have no clue what this is for, and uh, that's going to be fun, putting this thing together, learning what this stuff is for. All right, we've got a power supply, it looks like, probably. It looks like a power supply size box. I can kind of see it through there. Um, this is very slim, and this is a big 350 millimeter printer. I'm actually not sure if the bed is AC or DC voltage, so if you have a DC bed, you need a much beefier power supply because it's going the power for the bed is going to the power supply. So. Um, but we're gonna find all that out. This is a, it says Meanwell on it. So I think that's the brand you want, right? So that's pretty cool. All right, another squishy tube thing. This one is longer, but thinner. So we got another one of those. Power cord, of course. Love that they include that. We have a smaller fan. Uh, 4010, it's a 4010 fan. So maybe this is for the print head. I ordered this with the, I think, Fadis uh, hot end. <laughs> That's all I know. Uh, I got like the highest ultra flow version to have. I like high flow rates. Oh, maybe that thing wasn't the main board earlier because now we have a giant board right here. So this thing has like multiple boards in it, which is, that's new to me. A lot fancier than I was expecting because uh, we definitely had a couple boards earlier and now we have one giant main board here so this is this is awesome and we're probably about less than halfway through this box maybe about halfway through so uh this is very tight packaging it's everything seems to be packaged very well um so here we have a box wrapped in like a cheesecloth thing i guess this is desiccant this looks like desiccant maybe for drying the filament for the box turtle so that's super cool wow big bag of hardware this is, this is awesome. So we got just everything in here. This is super heavy. Whoa, those are heat set inserts. 
I was not expecting that. Um, I have used heat set inserts before. I have a nice like soldering iron attachment for them. Wow, we got some kind of light here. I actually just installed a bunch of lighting under my workbench here, and they were just like bigger versions of this. So this looks uh, exactly the same, but just smaller. So it includes like a cool light. That's awesome. Uh, these look like feet. So we got some nice, well, these are like pretty high quality, like solid injection molded feet. Um, awesome, I love high quality feet. We got a drag chain. Um, it's like a pretty standard looking kind of mini drag chain for a 3D printer. There you go. Wow, I don't know what this is at all. Um, maybe some sort of wire guides. Got these white tube things. Maybe some sort of wire guides. There's like five of them. And then some clips maybe for them. All right, so it looks like we've moved down another layer. And this, that looks like a print bed. And it says Voron on it. I was not expecting that. So it's a, it's a genuine Voron branded bed. So we got a big old silicone heater mat here. Again, I don't know. I don't know if you can tell by looking at it. I don't know if it's an AC or DC one. Um, there it says 110 volts right there. All I had to do was read that. So yeah, it looks like there's gonna be some sort of solid state relay in this printer. Um, so that's pretty cool. All right, we got a big PEI coated spring steel flex plate. This is really like heavy. <laughs> I think there's like a very thick magnetic layer on the back, which adds a lot of weight, um, which is what you want, right? Um, and it's like the perfect springiness. This, this is good, this is good. Okay, so this, this comes off. So that, okay, that magnetizes to that. I'm getting this now. And that's, that peels and then you stick this permanently to your aluminum build surface. So yeah, that is pretty cool. Wow, no way. That is the shiniest piece of metal I've ever seen. That is uh, that is like a very high quality, smooth milled aluminum plate. I'm assuming they use like cast aluminum and mill it down for these 3D printer build plates so it doesn't warp. But this is like, this is, this is great. This is just a very, very solid feeling piece here. All right, down another layer. Take out that foam. Woo! Wow, okay, we got, uh, we got a sheet with uh, stepper motor dimensions on it. So this is like a drawing describing the Moon's Shanghai motors. Uh, they look like maybe standard NEMA 17s because they're 42 millimeters in width, so. All right, so now we're moving on to the frame components. We got some 2020 extrusion here, I believe. And it's, it's really high quality looking 2020 extrusion. The ends are even anodized. So they must anodize this after cutting it. So that is super cool. And I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's really cool. And we just got a bunch of those pieces. So there's a lot more where that came from. So there's a ton of them here. I don't even know if I'm gonna take them all out. Let me see real quick if there's another layer below this. Okay. So we're on like the last layer here. So I'm not gonna take all of this out and make a big mess at the moment. I will make a big mess eventually, but um, we got all the frame extrusions here. We got six motors. There's the solid state relay and radial bearings. Wow. I was not expecting a bunch of like, oh, they're flange radial bearings. So a bunch of flange bearings there. There is the hot end. I will say I wasn't um, expecting it to look like that. I think they might have sent me the wrong one, but that's okay. We can figure it out. Um, I think that looks like a V6 style hot end. And I thought I ordered a like Fata Super High Flow Dragon hot end or something, but maybe they sent this in addition by default or something. We'll have to look into that. All right, so we got some pulleys here. I guess the Voron uses, um, I have seen some videos that use like pulley reducer mechanisms for the X and Y motors. And you know what? I think the Voron uses belts for the Z axis. So maybe that's for that too. I don't know, but we got some pulleys. There's like four of them. And we got some 
I guess these are like mini 2020 right angle uh, mounting blocks for extrusion. So I think that's about it. I'm gonna get this all laid out here. We got it. I didn't see any uh, directions in here, so we're gonna have to look that up and then we're gonna get started on it. All right guys, so this is a little bit later. I just looked into this and I think what happened is that they probably send this shipment as like a default shipment first, no matter what options you order with your Voron kit from 3D Printers Bay is the website I ordered it from. Um, so I think this hot end is just the default like V6 style hot end that they include. And my guess, because I also ordered the uh, custom th or the functional 3D printed parts, I guess on the Voron there's functional 3D printed parts and then there's the cosmetic 3D printed parts. So I ordered the functional parts and then I wanted to just pick any fun color I want to print my own uh, cosmetic parts, but they didn't send those in this box either. So I'm guessing there's gonna be another shipment coming later with all of the custom 3D printed parts and the options I ordered, including the Dragon High Flow Hot End. So that's my theory on that. And I'm just gonna have to hold my horses for another box. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. You're along for the ride with me on building a Voron 2.4 R2 kit. I've never done it before. I think it's gonna be super fun. And I'll see you in the next one where we actually start building it.